everyone, and welcome to our final summer reading craft video. If you weren't able to join us for our final Tuesday craft, what we were making were paperback book hedgehogs. So if you've got some old paperbacks, you can kind of repurpose them into a craft. Uh, if it's a book you like, I wouldn't suggest it. Maybe look for some old ones that are a little beat up. And for those of you who love books, it might seem a little hard to do this to a book, but it's okay. Uh, the ones we have used in our project uh, were ones no one wanted anymore. So we didn't take any books that were being read currently. So all you'll need is an old book, some markers, and your hands. So there's not a lot that goes into this one. And when we're done, you'll end up with something that looks like this. So you'll take your book and you'll take the cover off of it and try to make sure you get the back of the spine and the cover. If it's really thick, maybe 300 or more pages, you might also tear it into pieces so you've got about 130 to 150 sheets, and that should give you a pretty good sized hedgehog. We took some markers and marked through our books, and that should help create a little bit of a fur pattern. What you'll do is just start with the first page, and you'll just take the top corner and fold it down to make what looks like a triangle. So it'll look like that. And then you'll take the top of the page and fold it over down to the bottom, basically fold it in half, and increase it so that's what it'll look like. And this will be kind of each piece of our hedgehog and we'll just keep doing this throughout the book. If your folds are different sizes that's okay. It'll just look like your hedgehog has different lengths of hair and they don't have to be perfect. our last few pages that we're folding. As you saw when we started it looked kind of loose but as you folded more and more pages it all started coming together. See so when you get it all folded it kind of tightens up and you can spread it down and it looks like a little sleeping hedgehog. If you have some more pages you can do like I've done with this one and leave it for like a little display and you can paint it and put leaves and grass on it or you can fold all of them here and then you might want to glue maybe a thin piece of cardboard or a piece of construction paper to the bottom just to make it more solid. And we're going to put a little face on our hedgehog, so I'm just going to take a marker, color the end, give him a little bit of a nose, another one. I'm going to kind of swish it together to do this, to give him what look like some eyes. And they don't have to be perfect. And kind of go back and fill in. It looks like he has eyes and a nose, and you can give him eyelashes if you want. If you're at home and you have like the little felt pom-pom balls of the different colors or some googly eyes, you could always use a hot glue gun or some craft glue and give them a little felt pom-pom nose and glue some googly eyes on them. You can decorate with string. If you don't want to draw to create the kind of animal fur pattern, you can't always paint the pages when you're done. You just might want to paint them lightly so they still move. Okay? But that is our paper book, paper book back paperback book, excuse me, hedgehog. No scissors, no cutting, just a couple of basic folds. It's just a little bit of origami that creates a nice little creature who can live on your bookcase from an old book that you don't want or that maybe has been damaged. So thank you for joining us for our summer reading videos. We hope you've enjoyed them. Maybe you've learned a few crafts. You've enjoyed some of our stories and we hope that you've joined us for the in-person summer reading and we'll see you when we start programming up again in the fall. Bye.